Germany tests the world's first hydrogen-powered train Germany has successfully conducted trials of the world's first hydrogen-powered zero-emission train in March. The hydrogen-powered train can travel up to 140 km per hour and has the capacity to carry 300 passengers. The fuel cells on top of the train combine hydrogen and oxygen to generate electricity, which is then transferred to the lithium-ion batteries inside the train. The train only emits steam and water as byproducts. It is also 60% quieter than traditional diesel trains. Five states in Germany have agreed to buy a total of 60 hydrogen-powered trains. Other countries, including the Netherlands, Denmark, Norway, and the UK, have also expressed interest in the train. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Keep watching for how renewable energy could power our vehicles. Green energy boat set to circumnavigate the globe. A self-sufficient boat run entirely on emission-free energy is soon to set to embark on its maiden voyage around the world. The Energy Observer is a multi-hulled catamaran and former racing vessel that's being converted into a green vessel. It will be equipped with 130 square meters of solar paneling, two vertical axis wind turbines, and two reversible electric motors. Its green technology allows the boat to run emission-free on solar and wind power during the day. The vessel will also be fitted with electrolysis equipment to produce hydrogen from seawater. The hydrogen will be stored in tanks and used to power the boat's fuel cells at night or when there is no sun or wind. The Energy Observer will begin a six-year-long journey in spring, stopping in 50 countries and 101 ports of call as it circumnavigates the globe. The 4.2 million euro vessel is currently sitting in a shipyard in St. Malo, France, awaiting the start of its years-long trip. Toyota showcased its hydrogen fuel cell vehicle called the Mirai at the 2016 San Francisco Auto Show last November. According to Toyota product specialist Chris Petzler, Once we extract hydrogen out of things, it's a limitless source of fuel. Uh, we don't burn it, so it's completely clean. Petzler says Toyota sees this as the fuel of the future, but how does it actually work? You fill uh, the tanks with compressed hydrogen gas, pure hydrogen. Whenever you step on the accelerator, it feeds hydrogen into the fuel cell, which then mixes with oxygen, which we just get from the ambient air. We have two scoops on the front end of the car and a compressor that pushes oxygen in. The hydrogen and the oxygen want to bind, but we force them through a micron thin layer of platinum, so the electron can't make that binding process, so it kind of goes around. We capture that as electricity, and then the hydrogen and the oxygen bind on the other side, which H2O, all we're left with is water vapor, so that's the byproduct. And then the electricity, of course, runs the car. Although driving a car that emits water vapor could be a bonus, there are still a few hurdles ahead. Getting the infrastructure into place, getting more pumps, that is our challenge. According to the U.S. Department of Energy's website, there are only 14 public hydrogen fueling stations in the United States, and 11 of them are in California. Petzler says Toyota is working towards a solution. We're releasing our patents on the car and fuel cell stations. So we have a company called First Element that's helping us in California, Air Liquide in France. The Mirai accelerates from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 9 seconds, and it takes around 5 minutes to refuel. British Airline to trial hybrid planes with hydrogen fuel cells. A popular British airline announced on Tuesday that it is taking a bold step in its efforts to lower its carbon footprint and to save costs. EasyJet aircraft consume 4% of the airline's total annual fuel during taxi. The company says that's enough fuel for eight return trips to the moon. In a bid to reduce these carbon emissions and save money, the airline hopes to begin ground trials of a hydrogen fuel cell to be stored in aircraft holds later this year. In addition to the hydrogen, kinetic energy garnered from the wheels would help power the plane while in taxi. This is similar to technology used in Formula One cars. It's expected that the concept could remove the need for tug vehicles to maneuver planes around the runway, giving pilots more control of the plane during taxi. EasyJet hopes to have a proof of concept within five years, with a view to persuading manufacturers to use it in 15 years. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Solar-powered roads could power the entire U.S. 
Idaho-based Solar Roadways is hoping to build solar-powered roads that will not only provide power but will also create digital driving services that can be remotely controlled. Solar Roadways says if installed nationwide in the US, their roads could provide more renewable energy than the entire energy the country uses. Solar-powered roads by Solar Roadways are comprised of hexagonally shaped panels that consist of four layers, a base layer of recyclable materials that is placed on the ground, a support structure with embedded circuitry, LED lights that collect sunlight and convert it into electricity, and finally a top layer of reinforced glass with traction support for vehicles. The panels can support trucks weighing up to 250,000 pounds or 115,000 kilograms, and the lights can be remotely controlled to provide guidance to drivers or to reallocate spaces in a parking lot. Electric vehicles will be able to use mutual induction technology to charge while driving. The panels also contain heating elements connected to the electricity grid that can melt snow and ice that forms on them. An attached cable corridor helps store and treat stormwater while also providing a place to store power and data cables. The cost of the solar panels can be covered primarily through the generation of electricity, which can also power connected homes and businesses. Solar Roadways estimates there is about 31,000 square miles or 80,000 square kilometers of usable road surfaces in the US that could be converted into solar-powered roads. Solar Roadways received a contract from the Federal Highway Administration to build the prototype in 2009. Now they are hoping for $1 million in funding in order to begin mass production of the road.